Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to episode 57 of Firemind. Well, we are building pumps, digging for adamantine, and staying alive while people are hopefully not going to perform any mutiny on us. We are fighting giant orioles out there in the uh, open. Obviously, we are starting to kill these things as well. But yeah, the surface level of Firemind is a bloody mess, as we all love and know it. Well, the year 145 has begun very peaceful. We have uh, taken a stab into the uh, magma pockets here. There is, uh, well, this is more magma than I anticipated, in all honesty. I feel as if we might have uh, bitten off more than we can chew. But I have already a plan for that. I mean, the good part is that this area stays um, accessible. Whoa. Turns out that the uh, legendary uh, Oriole is finally dead. This monster has been taken down. Very happy about that. Ah, well. The agitated animals out here, they are among the worst things that are running around in the food. Flying around, I should rather say. Anyways, the plan that I got is a quite simple one. Since this will now have a hard time evaporating down there, this is uh, seriously something that I have to take care of. Um, we're going to take off this uh, floor plate there. And then we are digging down and we are widening the staircase, so to speak. In the meantime, all the excess magma will just flow down here. It's uh, quite a spectacle. I didn't expect that much magma, in all honesty. I think it might all evaporate, though, if we are getting lucky here. Anyways, pump stack time. So it is... It's really cool to see where we're getting towards to now. So with some luck, it's only a handful of episodes until we have the uh, throne room for the queen ready and even the pump stack ready at the same time. Because the design of the magma machine is already pretty much done, there is not that much more that we need to uh, get in there. There's... Uh, it's all working out as intended, so to speak. So there is a cavity that I don't want to open up. Let's leave it like that. And we're going to take out a floorboard here. And then we're going to use this room to open up more area there. Oh no, not, not the old people again. Ah, all right. They're... Uh, running into our defenses here so let's see um yeah there's a bunch of invaders at the coast again it's uh, nothing new anymore at this point so well what we're going to do though is we're going to pick up the sacks of controlling and uh, put them up to a, to a little patrol duty here. As I really want to get rid of these uh, guys as well as I can. So I just realized at the same time that this ain't no good idea. So first of all, the invaders have taken the door. Are you kidding me? That is uh, something that I can't uh, take like that. We're also going to start smelting down the gear of these guys. All right, let's send them back home. And uh, obviously we are not done here yet. And Uzul wants another bracelet. That's what she does when she's getting bored.
both go. Alright, now we are going to station these guys here, and that should do the trick to make the door ours again. Right, right. So, we're also going to forbid that door, because I really am a little bit paranoid on that end. And we're going to station our dudes here and see how that'll end. All right, evaporation cannot really happen down here anymore, which is uh, quite bothersome, in all honesty. So we're going to have to relieve the pressure. But I think as long as there is a uh, one skimmering around there, it should still work. I assume. Yeah, they're getting to the surface again. They're getting sassy. Ah, well. And the fighters are in. I mean, I'm quite happy that we got a couple of legendary people around there. So, but... Whoa! So, this is uh, probably more than they can handle. Luckily there's reinforcements coming on in for us. That's uh, one dead Swordmaster. Another dead Dwarf. So we really need to uh, put out the... Uh, put down more people here. We have two casualties. Probably we're, we got the situation under control. Probably not. Three casualties. Will the trouble ever end for Firemind? There's so much death and uh, war happening down here. So three casualties as it stands. Mm, all right. It's safe for the other um, troops to return. We're going to take a uh, swoop around in the area here. Hopefully able to lure a couple of them downstairs, and another one of our people died. That brings the casualty count up to five, I think. Six. Five it is. Yeah, obviously six, I think. This poor guy is wrestling with the uh, giant orm down in the water. But I know that the Ulm is here in its natural habitat, and uh, there's no way that brave Ul Thob Rack Caves is uh, getting out of this alive and uh, taking the upper hand in this situation. So yeah, 6 out of 10 died. Yeah, we're going to retreat them. These cowards down here may remain. That's been a very, very unfortunate thing. So a new mayor has been uh, elected, obviously. And we need to reassign a lot of uh, dudes here. So will this ever end, I wonder? I think we do need to seal off this part of the uh, caverns, as it does bring us nothing but trouble. I mean, on the other hand, the uh, board does gain a lot of metal out of this uh, whole trouble. But we've had here again quite a lot of dead people. <laughs> the queen does uh, order often right away. can see her grin on her throne. I hope she's well entertained now. Well, that's been a lot of dead dwarves. And the uh, worst thing is this constant death by drowning. These Orm, they don't play, uh, they don't play nice. They play very, very dirty. That's the only thing that I can say. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to widen this uh, this cavity here. So we're going to tunnel there. 
Okay, so the the sacks of controlling are now really at their weakest ever. This squad is now, well, barely worth the copper that they are clad in. There's still this uh, monster here hanging around. We even gave him it gave it a name because it took so many of ours. But he's also seriously injured, so. That creature might not be that much of a big deal to deal with. Alright, so on the bright side, we can now claim the most of this area here. The most of this cavern here is not filled with any cavities of any sorts. So this one here is... One outlier, there's uh, just almost no cavities whatsoever in this uh, part of the ford, which is really good. So, let's get back to the pump stack business. This was one scary incident. The next time I'm going to send more people and... Yeah, well, what can I say? The old people, they just don't give up. So... Here's one giant ohm. Got beaten by our fighters, uh, workers. Well... Yeah, slowly working my way upstairs. But I mean, we are slowly getting there. Alright, now some evaporation kit could happen. If we get lucky. I mean, I could uh, just uh, open here the uh, entire thing. But that might leak into areas where we would be destroying things that are actually important to me. And that is something that I don't really need to do. Okay, we can cut the Bucket Brigade's job here. And we can safely start chopping open the water pockets. Okay, nice. So... That is the last level before we hit the adamantine layer. Finally. I mean, it's... It's been quite some time now. Honestly, we, uh, we really took quite long for that. But at least we... We're getting there. There's been so many attacks and assaults lately on the fort. It's really a quite a nightmarish situation. The wildlife, the old people, all these things converging against us so hard. So... Opening a, a, up a couple of extra water cavities here. Giving it all more room. So that was a big one. Right. These brave fools, they don't mind mining right next to the magma while there's water gushing around their feet. I'd be so darn scared in all honesty. Okay, so we can take off the last bits here where there is no hazard that could be happening. We are going to assign the Bucket Brigade here another time. And then let's see. Waiting for the door here. Hopefully that whole stuff here will evaporate one day again. I mean, by excavating the canal like that here, we're giving the whole magma more, more room to, to evaporate. 
So same goes in that area. This whole cavern is filled with smoke. As there is a uh, burning diamond here. Let's see, it should work like that too. I think we can put out the diamond like that. Well, I hope so at least. There we go. This way there's more room for the magma. It's the easiest way to work yourself around of this uh, situation when you just don't have enough room for stuff to evaporate. So that can't be also all taken safely off. I don't know why these never got constructed. Sometimes there's uh, ghosts of building jobs happening and I don't quite know why. All right. The magma is jiggling. Oh, we found another monster here. A hopeless soldier blow gunner. So here we have another creature of the human gobbed Warosp dust fated. A odd, abnormal, or a, uh, well, how to call it, a weird creature that resembles Fukar in the human pantheon. Ah, uh, yeah, here, individual choice melee. That is uh, not what you guys are supposed to go for. This can happen if they are looking for one of these uh, specific weapons that uh, have been attached to one of our people and now it is a problem for them to, to pick up a new weapon. They turn wrestlers most of the time when that happens. Some migrants have arrived despite the danger, so <laughs> Firemind now has a reputation. And as you see here, these items, they, they most likely lie in the water. So we're just going to give them war hammers, and I hope that this will work out. And the, the real cursed thing about it is that... They, they will be, th these items, they will now wander along the uh, other squads. Now everybody of these uh, in the other squads will try to pick up that those cursed weapons or the next people that we're assigning. These will never go out of commission, sort of. Okay, so, because I have the feeling as if this is not going to happen, and since we can deglass the next uh, floor quite soonish, seriously, we can. All right. So I'm working myself through the block now. And yeah. Let's put up the remaining digging jobs that we can allow ourselves. As there is enough intel to warrant these. Alright. So, well... Might as well just put up a door here and start ogling inside the walls. And another pump. So there we go. We're getting closer. Which e with each duo of these, we're getting closer. So what is it this time? More bracelets. I just realized that I need to uh, assign a new Maya here. I miss the times when this place had always the same Maya year after year. 
hopefully Arush will establish himself, herself, whatever. It's a good time, a uh, good uh, thing that we got that we got ourselves again more people back into the fort. Reindeer coughs. All right. I feel like it's really a, a good thing that we are getting life back into the fort. New people, fresh faces. Alright, so with that little trick we can do the same thing like we're doing upstairs with the glassing, except for without the glassing. And obviously we need to uh, put a pit on top of that, otherwise they're too stupid to do so, obviously. But luckily they installed the door real quick. Quite happy about that one. So we can take off that piece of rock. And then we are ready to go for the next uh, layer, I guess. So, deglassing and reglassing. Hell yeah. Currently, we're roughly moving uh, through this with one, uh, with, with uh, a layer per episode. So I'm quite happy with the uh, speed of the expedition here. So this will be now another one of those times when nothing gets done in the fort because everybody wants to put a piece of glass block on the, on the ground. Dwarfs are just weird like that. So wasn't that the water cavity here? Well, I don't know anymore. I don't care that much. So we can finally put out the fire here. Because, you know, if everything else fails, we just uh, put a pond on top of it. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, if it works, it works. And here we have finally the cavity check. All right. Let's widen the area another time. Got to make sure that one day we can room or use this room again. All right, turned out this entire pillar here is safe to be mined away. That's a big relief. As this means I can probably class a pretty large portion of that area, gaining valuable insight about how dangerous or not dangerous it'll be to work around, around there. That is really, really good. Okay. And the human bards have uh, are starting to establish themselves as visitors here. I mean, there has been no further artifact theft since the beginning of this. But don't you think that I've grown unaware or anything like that. No, no. We didn't forget. All right. So four more levels have been braved. And I'll be ordering another suit of uh, glass floor right on top of this here, so we can have a proper look into the bowels of the beast here. All right, down there, this... Oh, we, we accidentally uh, poked open a new one. Oh, dang it. 
That was exactly not what I had on mind. But whatever. It is what it is, I suppose. Can somebody f please finally quench this uh, gemstone fire here? It's been burning now since ages, I feel. All right. Ah, finally. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. That's been so overdue. All right. Another, uh, just a, a thing that we can do right away is we can connect these bad boys with one another. So we'll have... Can quench more fire here. Oh dear, I wanted to I wanted to quench the fires here, but I, I feel like I made it all just worse. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, sometimes it is what it is, huh? Sometimes you wanna quench a fire, but then you just pour more magma on top of it. Who doesn't know when life's like that? So, more bracelets. I feel like Uzol is like a, uh, like an alcoholic. She's burns, she's burning through the new bracelets faster than we are building pump stacks, uh, pumps on the pump stack. I'm really worried about her uh, sanity these days. This is not a healthy uh, behavior of hers. So... The worst part right now is that we have really kind of trouble draining the magma down here. Or kind of trouble. It's really the proper wording. It's not as if there's really any big drama behind that. It's just tedious. Alright, so there goes the next door I wanted to say but no there happens to be no cavity whatsoever here probably gotta be careful around that one as I'm not seeing there but the rest of these can be safely taken off which is really a relief to me because that means we're uh, pretty much done now with that floor and we probably can widen the uh, operation here put down some glass see what's below there see what we can work with just generally helpful things there we go <laughs> Yeah, it's really a bummer that we need to somehow dry that. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put up a extra reservoir here. Because I feel like that's probably the best that we can do. Why is this uh, guy here? Store item in stockpile. Well, okay. Some people like to uh, surf on the edge of the danger zone, huh? Well, all right. Yeah, it's working just as I was hoping it would. So it turns out there's yet another magma cavity there. So yeah, I, I did a good job in uh, expanding the uh, this thing here. So there will be walls closing off this little uh, extra pocket there. And then we're going to do our thing. All right. So no, no, no humans here. Nice try, but no. 
unwilling. I can only repeat myself. Bring back the artifact and we can probably have an agreement on that. But before that, Firemind does not want any human um, immigrants. I mean, I, I personally don't think that the uh, Firemind dwarves are unreasonable or anything. It's just like uh, they... They're dwarves. They're supposed to be stubborn, don't you think? So we're uh, we're going to take this like that. Or do we? Actually, I just decided that this is a bad idea. <laughs> I don't want to take any unnecessary risk of uh, killing off my fort. I'm really taking it very, very seriously that currently my military wouldn't be able to fight off too many of these beasts down there. If I am lucky, some of my legendary fighters might, might be might be capable of uh, winning against one of these creatures, but in the current state of affairs, I wouldn't be. I, I'm not willing to put my uh, to to bet my money on any of my dudes. That's how bad it is. So yeah, it is yet again time to put an end to today's episode. Sadly, <clears throat> we're we're getting there, my friends. We're seriously getting there. But I think my prophecy is coming true that we're. Uh, seeing the completion of the adamantine mine faster than the pump stack but i mean in all honesty it's 160 pumps that we all have to build consecutively patiently one after another that that is quite a burden and there's always these uh, olm catastrophes hitting town so yeah, life doesn't grow old here in Firemind. Anyways, my friends, I thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time. We're going to continue next episode in braving this level here. And then we are there. I'm pretty sure that next episode, with some luck, we might be get setting our first foot down there. But maybe not. We, uh, I don't want to raise any false hopes. But there is... Yeah. How to put it? We're uh, we're we're getting closer to the finale of this uh, for of the series. I mean, sure. We're also get, getting closer to episode sixty. But whatever. I mean, Dwarf Fortress is a chill and uh, long winded game. It is what it is. And a clothier has been possessed. So there's going to be an artifact piece of clothing next time. Thank you for watching. Drop me your comments down below. A thumbs up would be appreciated. And of course, feel free to subscribe. I'd be very, very happy if you did so. There is also a bunch of links down there in the description box leading you to Discord, Twitch, where I stream each Sunday evening in the European time zone. And of course, there's also Patreon, Paypal, and Buy Me A Coffee. I'd be very delighted if you'd gave any of these a look. And a big thanks to all of you supporting the channel. I deeply, deeply appreciate your help. And last but not least, there's also to mention you watching this video right now up until the very end. I deeply appreciate that. Hope you had a good time. Hope you'll be coming back soon. And see you there. Bye-bye.